Hello everyone. So, welcome to the first podcast of Mind Life Bliss. This is a special channel on which we are starting a series Listen to Young Minds and this is the first episode. See the purpose of listening to young minds is very simple. Kids are not getting any platform where they can open up freely. So that is the purpose of starting this series with the kids with the youngsters. And the first topic of this podcast is importance of reading books. Certainly I'm not talking about reading your textbooks. I'm talking about the books which you uh, take from your library or which you buy for the reading purpose. So those books I'm talking about. And if if I visualize the reading, so I see a lot of similarities between reading books and going to the gym. Yes, I'm right. Because both of them just thrive on commitment, discipline and time. It is okay if you are not finding hours to read your books or go to the gym. Because see, every little bit matters a lot when it comes to training your body and it comes to training your mind. So without a further delay, let's welcome our first guest on this first show, Miss Tanirika Bansal. And just listen her view on this very special topic importance of reading books and this is a first show which will be posted on spotify and youtube both so without a further delay just welcome our guest tanirika bansal hello hello tanirika how are you i'm very good how are you i'm fine pretty good so excited for this first podcast I'm really excited. Great. So before we formally start our session, just let us viewers and listeners know the meaning of your name because it sounds really special to me. Yeah, definitely. So the meaning of my name is a flower, a sweet flower. Oh, great. And how old are you? So actually today is my birthday and I'm turning 13 years old. Great. So wish you very happy birthday, Tanirika. Thank you very much. Okay, so should we start with a question? Can you give a brief introduction of yourself? Yeah, sure. So I'm in class seventh, and I study in Delhi Public School in Faridabad. And today I'm here for my first podcast. Great, great, great. So, uh, moving to the first question of this topic. See, uh, there was a study done by American Psychological Association, and the study said that. the social media and gaming platform they have significantly impacted the reading culture among the children and when i talk about children it's specifically between the age group of 9 to 14 years so we just want to know your perspective about this in terms of any positive or negative impact that how the social media and gaming they are impacting the young minds hmm. um <clears throat> according to me the attraction of children towards the social media it is actually really dangerous because like for example when you open shorts of youtube you just keep on scrolling down and down and you feel that you are going to watch only for 5 minutes but then you notice that those 5 minutes have actually turned into one or two hours and the thumbnails of a lot of videos are also so attractive and many times they include such a question that you are not able to stop your curiosity and always the same is with gaming once you start playing you feel to play more and more and you are not able to stop yourself but yes social media and gaming there is not such a bad thing if we use these two apps in a very useful way in a very controlled way then we make a fixed time for the usage of these then it would be very much better for us good nice uh do you uh, have you heard this phrase that blessings in disguise yeah i heard it a lot of times nice so there is one more study which says that the 35% of world receding more due to corona virus so definitely we all have gone through that pandemic and that was disastrous but uh, there were some positive sides as well which has been shown in this study that uh, due to this uh, pandemic and uh, lockdown and staying home 
the people have started reading 35% more. So what do you feel about it? How do you see the positivity in that? Hmm. Well, I believe that during lockdown, people were getting really bored. They were extremely bored. And they wanted to explore new things, which they generally didn't do normally. So one of the reasons can be that few children started reading some famous books like of Harry Potter and got a lot of interest in them as those books have also been filmed. So from there, they started finding similar kind of books and then slowly shifted, shifted to bigger books and even novels. And people during lockdown, they wanted a way in, they could, in which they could pass their time. So they started to read. And of course, reading is such a peaceful and relaxing activity that once you start to read, you want to read more and more. So definitely, it was a very good blessing in disguise. Great. So it shows that we should always try to find out positivity in all the situations. Where are we? Definitely. Nice. So that, that's a good thing that the listener should take it, that we should try to see the positive aspects, no matter where we are and what situation we are. So uh, definitely, we are straightforward moving to our next question. Uh, see, there is a very uh, famous saying that most of the famous personalities, they have a one common thing in them. They read a lot of books. For example, it's very famous that Bill Gates reads 50 books in a year, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett. You name any famous personality and there is a common thing that they read a lot. So what's your perspective about it? That why the success of these people is associated with their reading habits, especially. As everybody says that reading is a very good habit, and I completely agree with that. So, if we go a bit deeper into the question, the books related to their business will help them a lot in their technical terms, like the books related to stock markets or like how to become a good leader. Those will help them a lot. But I believe that reading book is such a relaxing activity in which you can completely entertain your mind you can soothe your mind so not compulsory they need to read a specific type of books they reading makes you think in every direction it makes you think out of the world they also might be reading books to improve their communication skills as they require to give a lot of speeches and to increase the production of their company as well their speeches should be a lot of their speeches should be quite attractive. So they might use reading books for these purposes as well. And they might use comedy books to soothe themselves because after working for so much time in their offices, they need some relax. Great. I feel that Bill Gates should watch this podcast and see that they are, that is a, a perspective of the kids that they are reading comic books just to soothe their mind. That's phenomenal. Very nice. So again, uh, one related question to this: uh, If I, if you, if you talk about myself, so I always like reading books in a hard copy. That's a paperback. That's my favorite. But nowadays, we see the popularity of ebooks like Kindle and audiobooks like Cuckoo FM. This rising so constantly every year. So uh, I just want to know your view that which way of reading is better as per your perspective and definitely which way you like to read. Hmm. Definitely hard copy is the best. No, nothing can beat that because in hard copy you can easily underline the important parts or the scenes of a novel and also the difficult words if you are interested in vocabulary. And the feeling of seeing the colorful books on the bookshelf is awesome. And you can also put on the beautiful bookmarks. But yes, many people say that audiobooks are a bad idea. So let me clear that it's not a bad idea. Sometimes it feels really tiring and boring to read from a novel or a book. So listening to an audiobook is really relaxing. You can just lay down on bed, close your eyes and listen to an interesting story. And as Kindle, so it saves a lot of space actually. Because hundreds of storybooks can fit in a small tablet or phone. So there are do's, then don'ts, advantages, disadvantages of everything. But yeah, I prefer reading hard copy. Nice. So your parents, if they would be listening to this, they should buy a lot of hard copy books for you. Isn't it? Definitely. Actually, I'm good with audiobooks as well. 
but yeah hard copy is still the first preference nice nice so as i could understand that you also read a lot of books so uh, can you just list out few benefits of uh, book reading which you have experienced and what do you think that if you keep on reading the books uh, down the line 5 years 10 years or forever if you keep on reading the books so what could be the benefits of this habit you you are seeing in the future as well yeah there are many advantages of book reading first thing it will help your communication skill it will increase your vocabulary a lot and you can also tell to your friends that how much collection you have and how much knowledge you have on different different aspects like adventurous mythology various aspects and on various topics and you are also able to take part in any discussion in which your friends are talking about some famous book and you don't feel left out in that discussion you also get an idea on how the authors expand the one minute scene into three or four pages and this quality can really help you in future to elaborate whatever you are saying in a very beautiful manner nice so you've ex- you have explained many benefits of reading so much interesting so uh moving towards the end of this podcast uh, i just want to ask you uh, what message would you like to give parents especially so that they start inculcating the reading habits in kids from the very early age and what message you would like to give to the children so that they start making books as their friend i'll not say the best friend but yes they should start making books as their friend so message for parents and message for children both so hmm, one thing is very much clear that nobody can force the children to read the books very because true if- i like this part that nobody can force the children to do anything yes please continue yeah because like if you will force the children they will it will actually reduce the interest of the children and they will actually start taking reading as a pressure not as a leisure activity so the, definitely any parent would want that their child should start taking interest in reading books so the parent has many ways in which they can do that if the child is very much interested in watching movies so maybe the parent can find some kind of book which is based on that movie or search similar kind of books which are related to that movie so the child will get really interested to know that how the adventures shown on the movie or in the film can be shown on paper and if the child doesn't like to watch movies and is a social media addict or a gaming addict then um, the parents can give the child few short books which are having a lot of pictures in them because every reading journey starts from there only and slowly slowly the child can shift towards the good story books and they can go as deep as they want reading has no limit great and nice as a message to the children being watch uh, playing games or being on social media is not a bad thing but yeah if you make reading as your friend is if you make books as your friend it is really going to help you in future because it like as i mentioned in my previous answers a lot it really relaxes your mind and i also mentioned a lot of advantages of books and when you read books it takes you to a completely magical world in which you imagine a lot of things it's really interesting to read a book nice so if i sum up the entire conversation what uh, this girl tanerika has shared with all of us that the foremost benefit i could uh, just figure out in her answers that reading uh, increases our vocabulary our communication and there is one study that children can learn between 4000 to 12000 new words in a year if they start reading books regularly so certainly it's a message to all the parents and to the kids that first of all parents that please encourage kids to read more because it makes a huge difference for them it increases their mental and emotional aspects it it creates a lot of lot of enthusiasm for your kids when they start reading and certainly from a very young age 
So the kids who are into the reading, hats off to them. Very good, very nice. And those who have not started yet, so please listen to this podcast. Go through the answers again and again and try to find out some important points in this special episode so that it encourages you for the reading. I'll just end it by saying there is a very famous quote said by Dalai Lama that reading is still the main way that I both learn new things and test my understanding. Yes, reading is still the main way that I both learn new things and test my understandings. So pick up the book in any ways, whatever you want, in the hard copy, Kindle, audiobook, podcast, wherever you want, and just start reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Keep tuning to the Spotify and YouTube for next episodes. Thank you. Bye-bye.